What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today I am super excited to share with you my take on the new Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. What do you think? Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, shut up! Let's get this thing started. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Frozen Sonic Mini. Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. You know, if I took the lids off of these guys, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the two. In fact, as far as measurements are concerned, they're exactly the same size. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that these are probably built from the same probably built from the same mold this is the frozen sonic mini and as you can see the vent there's a vent back there but there is no fan so hence the reason why it's a lot quieter than the frozen sonic mini 4k which has a little vent fan as far as noise is concerned it's not super loud but from a comparison between the frozen sonic mini it is louder you know because this one has a fan and this one doesn't so one of the things that I, I like is this is kind of a love-hate relationship is these build plates. So let's take a look at these build plates. This is the Frozen Sonic Mini build plate. What I dislike about this build plate is, and I know a lot of you guys who have one of these know, is these flat sides. So what happens is resin tends to pool up on here. And so when you pull this off, of the bracket here and you're trying to manipulate your plate you're trying to manipulate your build plate around and the resin is just you know coming off the plate and oozing down the front of your yeah it's 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 not a pretty sight so i think there's uh some some folks some smart folks some folks smarter than me came up with something like this but it has beveled edges where the resin can run off and i did put one of these wham bam plates on here so We'll see how that we'll see how that turns out in another video. I haven't used it yet, but yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, the cool thing about the older Frozen Sonic Mini build plate is the ease of leveling, and what I mean by that is these bolts on the side. So when you have a bracket that's like this, it's basically an L L L L shaped bracket, and when you loosen these four screws here. This actually moves up and down fairly easily. The issue that I had, and if you end up getting one of these, in fact, I've, Uncle Jesse and I, we had a discussion about this. Uh, we were having issues with a lot of the prints sticking to the bill plate, and I was wondering what the heck's going on. Well, here's the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K bill plate. Now, they did make some awesome improvements. See the bevel right here? Bevel all the way around, which is cool. But what they did is this, this is a solid piece of aluminum. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's little, you see little scratches here. So in essence, what this thing does is this bracket, it squeezes this aluminum plate uh, quite tightly. When you level this thing, you loosen all four bolts and then as it goes down to the build plate and you and you press down with your hand all the way around you know and you go through and you tighten all the bolts when you go through and do the leveling procedure in in the software you hold this down with your hand and you tighten these bolts up well the problem is when you tighten these bolts up if you don't hold the plate down hard enough what happens is is this bracket squeezes this build plate and it ends up pushing it up just just a hair not much but and that was the that was the issue that I had because with this guy you could just pretty much loosen the bolts put it down put a little light pressure on here tighten the bolts and you were good not with this one because this again this bracket is squeezing this aluminum bill plate so what happens is when you tighten it up if you're not pressing down hard enough it, in, in essence, is squeezing this so tightly that the, when you tighten the screws down, it sucks the bill plate up a little bit into this bracket. 
thereby uh, causing it to be just a little bit higher so you're going to have issues with your plate not being completely level so if you have a frozen sonic 4k if you have a frozen sonic mini 4k and you're having issues with leveling you might want to try that make sure and press down fairly fairly firmly when you're trying to level this thing again i did a i did some checking and these vats I believe the vats are exactly the same size so Here's the vats, side by side, on top of each other. Check this out. I mean, they're exactly the same size. In fact, the holes, the mounting holes, I put my Frozen Sonic Mini... That sounds like a little echo in here. Hello, hello. I put my Frozen Sonic Mini uh, vat on the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, and it fit just fine. So the bolts, the bolts line up, so basically these are the same the same size. What I like about the older Frozen Sonic Mini is that little guy right there, that little groove that's cut into the aluminum vat. So when you're pouring your resin back into your bottle, it has a nice little stream. Well, look at this guy. There's no little groove cut into it. So guess what happens when you try to pour resin back in your bottle? It ends up like gloop coming out the side or it ends up pouring down. Yeah, so it's kind of messy. But again, just a minor annoyance. Frozen Sonic Mini, five and a half inch LCD. Again, this case is exactly the same size as the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. So, and I believe the the touch screen here is the exact same size too, as as well as the um, the Z-axis rail. I think everything is it's it's pretty much the same thing, other than you have a little bit larger screen, which I will show you right here. Six inch screen, six inch LCD screen. And again, you got the fan back there. So uh, what I do like about this is, I mean, you can you can see there's, there's quite a bit of difference between the build plate size. So you're gonna get more real estate with the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K than you will with the Frozen Sonic Mini. Now, is it worth the extra 150-ish dollars or so? I'm gonna leave that up to you. You know, I love my Frozen Sonic Mini. It's given me hours and hours of service and some fantastic prints. I really do like this Frozen Sonic Mini 4K just because the resolution is so stinking awesome. Take a look at some of the video I've shot with looking at some of these models. So here are a couple models from Signum Games. This was printed on the Frozen Sonic 4K Mini. And as you can see here, let me get this dude in focus. This is the plague wings and as you can see there are little rats all along the edge of this wing that is on the back of this what looks to be like a plague doctor and this model is just pretty stinking amazing it's in multiple parts as you can see there's a little rat right back here on the edge of his cloak the detail that this Frozen Sonic 4K, or this the detail that this Frozen Sonic Mini 4K can put out is just pretty stinking amazing. I mean, if you look at his uh, spear here, you can see the detail in the uh, in the spear, uh, along with some of his along with some of his armor. This is just this is crazy, crazy good. Uh, what one of the things I have noticed between the standard Sonic Frozen Mini and the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K is the sharpness uh, that you'll get with miniatures. The Frozen Sonic Mini puts out some amazing models, and I mean, I love my Frozen Sonic Mini, but the 4K just seems to take it to another level. You can see the sharpness, uh, the quality of these, and it really comes through, and I'm, I'm just really impressed. This was printed with Soriatek fast gray this is uh Sriatec fast gray has become my go-to resin because it is just so easy to print with it's very inexpensive and i get really really good results with it but again this is the plague wings character or plague wing character from signum games uh they are They've been around a while, uh, but they just recently started a Patreon, and they're going to be starting a new Kickstarter soon with uh, some of their models. They have models out on my mini factory, but I'm going to put a link in the description below to Signum Games. 
their Patreon page and go, go check out some of their models. They have some really interesting models that I really haven't ran across as far as uh, fantasy miniatures are concerned. So make sure and go check them out. So this is another awesome print from Signum Games. This is a Sabertooth Lion. And you can see the archer on the back. Almost has a Nordic kind of a feel. I really like the look of these miniatures from Signum Games, especially the way this frozen Sonic Mini 4K just makes all the details on these miniatures pop. So I'm just really super, super duper impressed with these miniatures. Focus, focus, focus. This is the Etten from Loot Studios. Look how cool this is. This is from my friend Alvaro Ribeiro from Loot Studios. I will put links in the description below to his awesome site, Loot. As you can see, this guy is just super duper creepy. I mean, the modeling on these miniatures are cool. And you can see how tall this dude is. I mean, it's as big as my, it's as big as my hand. So, yeah, another awesome print on the... Frozen Sonic Mini 4K using Sriatec Fast Gray. Print this in any color you want, but uh, I tend to like the Sriatec Fast Gray. Cool. The, the, the models on the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K seem to be a little bit more crisp. I mean, it, by looking, especially if you're printing miniatures, you get that crisp sharpness and you can look at it and it's just, you know, everything is just nice and tight. Especially if you get your resin dialed in, everything looks just so nice and crisp and it just, uh, it looks, it looks fantastic. Now, again, the Frozen Sonic Mini prints great, it, but it seems like it has more of a softer tone to it. And I've, I've dialed in resin uh, on, I've dialed in my resin on, on both of them. And again, to, to the naked eye, I mean, both of them look fantastic, but I'm going to have to give it to the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K for sharpness and um, the amount of detail that you're going to see. So if you want to pay that extra 150 bucks, especially if you're doing miniatures, if that's, if really minute detail is really important to you, I definitely go, I definitely go with the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. Another thing about these, these lids. Yeah, they're exactly the same size, so you can swap these out. So if you have a Frozen Sonic Mini and you want to use the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, and mine it looks like garbage because I've spilt resin on it. And these things are, I don't know if you've ever tried, but it's, this is really hard to get resin. If you spill resin on these, it's really hard to get this. I've tried acetone and alcohol, and it just, you know what, I just like, it's a tool, right? I mean, it's a tool we use, and uh, I'm not using it to display in a museum anywhere. I'm using it to work. I'm using it to build stuff. I mean, it doesn't look so cool on display, but, you know, I mean, if, the, if someone could, if, if you've got an idea of how to clean these, put it in the comments below, because I'd love to hear from you. But yeah, you can swap these out. I mean, if you want to fool your friends and say, hey, I got one of those new fandangled Frozen Sonic Mini 4Ks, check it out. Yeah, because I got that neat looking, they're kind of gray looking, brownish looking cover there. Or if you want to, you know, fool your wife and not that I've done that before, but you know, say, hey, honey, I only paid $199 for a good old Frozen Sonic Mini over here. Yeah, that's what it is. Don't pay attention to the label down here that says 4K. But yeah, you can swap these. You can swap these lids out. It, it, again, it looks like basically the same form factor. So it's basically the same. There's different guts, of course, because you have a higher resolution six-inch screen compared to a five-inch screen or five and a half inch, 5.5-inch screen on the Frozen Sonic Mini. Hey folks, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any and all questions pertaining to the Frozen Sonic Mini or the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. I've got lots of resin printers that are just lined up in boxes. I've been I've been a bad man. I've been a bad boy and I haven't been putting any videos, haven't been putting very many videos out lately and yeah, it's a lot of things, you know. Got the got the new job and some other things that are going on, but I'm uh, I'm slowly getting back in action because I've got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of cool stuff that's in boxes. It's in the cardboard, and 
I want to see it out of the cardboard on film so you guys can check it out, you know, and then just you know get your uh get your take on some of this some of this cool stuff out on the out on the 3D print farm here. So again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you have a fantastic day and as always we hope to see you again soon here on oh yeah one more thing i just hit 25,000 subscribers that's right 25,000 subscribers i am totally blown away thank you very much to all my subscribers out there if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so because again i've got lots of cool stuff in boxes on my front porch no not on my front porch i have lots of stuff in boxes that my wife is just She's getting on to me to get rid of because, I mean, my house is starting to look like a warehouse. A warehouse of cardboard boxes. I've got 3D printers, 3D res I have 3D FDM printers, resin printers, IDEX printers, I have filament dryers, I've got uh, lasers, you name it. So are we going to start rolling out some more content your way? Once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm, and we'll see you again soon. Or, as we used to say, or... As I always say, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print. As my dog Daisy says, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Hey guys, welcome again back to... <clears throat> hey guys, welcome again back to 3D Print Farm. I hope you guys are having fun and staying safe out there. Hey guys, once again, welcome back. Hey guys, back. Hey guys, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I am super duper duper duper. That's a donkey. That's a hee haw. You've never heard a hee-haw from a farm. That's a hee-haw. Hee-haw? Yeah, that's a hee-haw. So this little guy here, or this big guy here,